All right, welcome back to the build site. This morning, uh, got some progress to show. About 75% done with the slab and the stem walls. And uh, I think by next week, we'll be ready to, to pour the, the flooring, the first floor slab. And then after that is, is ready, that's what uh, Meadow Light is waiting for. So I think within two weeks, we're gonna start having the Meadow Light arrive here. And uh, in between that time, myself and the ar architect have been doing some walk arounds and making a few changes here and there. So let's go take a look. We'll start here at the front door. And if you remember from some of the earlier videos, this is what they call ground zero. The, the top of the plywood forms there is where the level of the first floor is going to be. But this area here is the, the main entrance. It'll be kind of a patio with stairway coming up to the door and and then inside you come into the landing here with the hallway and then there should be some glass right in front of you when you open the front door and you'll be able to see into the pool area and then to the left will be a, a CR here powder room and as you come up you come into the front door and turn right you'll turn into the main living area or living room and the ceiling will be uh, as high as the second floor roof so it'll be kind of a great room type or open air all the way up to the second floor ceiling and then to the right here will be a wall for TV area, couch, and as you come down, this will be a maybe a, a main dining table, and then center island, probably right around where I'm standing here now, and then the kitchen area here, refrigerator, sink, stove center island here and then there's a wall here and so this will be a laundry area and this will be a dirty kitchen area here with a sink right behind here and there should be a access to outside a door right here from the dirty kitchen to outside and all along this this wall here really won't be a wall it should be all all glass doors uh, I'm not sure yet if they're going to be sliding or accordion type but this will be the pool area here the pool will extend from right there where the, the main bedroom is will be a shower there pool here the pool will be bordered by um, a type of uh, composite wood planks around the, the pool and it it'll be shallow on this end coming down probably to about five feet and it's going to be like a uh, a gradual beach type entry so it won't be a a drop off you know just kind of gradually go down and it's going to be only five feet because there'll be a pull bar right here and we have to have it uh, we can't have it too deep so it's too hard to get up on the chairs on the stools so one half of the bar will be in the pool and then the other half of the bar uh, on the other side there will be on the dry portion of the wood planking and as you step outside here this is going to be kind of a 
a breezeway between the the living room area and the back of the back of the house. It'll be bordered by an electrical room and the safe room here. This is the outline of the safe room. And it's going to have a door here. And we're gonna plumb for CCTV. Also, uh, well, a monitoring station for CCTV with a conduit to the office was where they, in the opposite corner where the, um, you know, the, the uh, server rack will be. So you'll be able, to be able to watch CCTV in here as well as the office. And we're going to also allow for uh, ventilation up through the roof here inside the safe room. And they're going to make me a custom door right here. I told them the, the, the door that I want is going to be similar to what we have on the garage except it'll be thicker and I'm going to have it filled with concrete and extra reinforcement around the around the, the jam so it's going to be a beefy door and then right here is will be an uh, another CR for it to be used by the, the pool area And over here is where the mechanical room will be for the, the pool stuff, the, the pump, the filter, things like that. And then in here will be uh, where we'll have our panel board and all of, all of my solar cabling is gonna terminate down in here. Right now I'm standing in the pool and it'll be bordered by the composite planking. Be a shower down at this end. And then if I was in the pool, there'll be a, a pool bar right here. And with stools in, inside the water. And then the opposite side will be, you know, the other side of the bar where you can make drinks or make frozen drinks we have a refrigerator freezer ice and so forth on that side and then at this end of the pool there's going to be a water feature a waterfall right here that's going to flow over into a smaller pool where I'm standing now this smaller pool here probably going to be maybe three or three or four feet deep with uh, with seats going around it and over here on my right is the master bedroom there'll be a sliding door here where you can access this little pool from the master bedroom and then you'll also have access to the patio here from the master bedroom and we made some changes here in the master bedroom this was going to be the entry door and with a long hallway but we decided just to move move that door up to here to this post and remove that little wall there so we have a larger bedroom here since it's just a dead end hallway anyway and then walk-in closet, master bedroom CR, and then my office will be there, right there. And that, that office is gonna have a, a sliding door on that side with a, a small balcony. And this, this area here is gonna be all patio. Well, I'll be standing here in the pool, but you can walk downstairs here and then this will be patio uh, with additional composite planking and then 
some steps here and then this will be a, a grassy area we've been doing a lot of trying to do a lot of cleanup here with our machines but it's a slow process I've been scraping the the ground with the excavator rake and trying to get a pile up here to burn at the same time I bought a chainsaw and I've been doing a little pruning of some of these trees I've been using the chainsaw to come around any of the trees that I can and do a little pruning I, I get a lot of advice don't cut those bottom branches off because they're still fruit bearing but I think it, it gives everything a, a little bit more clean appearance you know when we finally get it landscaped and once you get rid of those those low branches it's easier to clean everything up but one of the interesting things is I mean, if you know me I don't know anything about farming or fruit but you learn along the way and so when I started cleaning this tree out I found out that this is a uh, not a rambutan it's a what is this tree jackfruit this is a jackfruit tree it still needs a little TLC but when I trimmed everything look what I found these are jackfruit and this isn't even considered big they're they can grow probably twice the size of this but it, it's it, there's more on this side and in in between but it's an intensely aromatic and sweet fruit that you can uh, you can eat it raw you can use it in shakes in halo halo you can uh, you can even freeze dry it or, or dehydrate it or you can put it in a uh, an air an air oven to get a little bit crispy and it's really really good <laughs> or you can just leave it in the refrigerator for that intense sweet uh, fragrance that it puts off so yeah this this fruit here is it's kind of like me it's ugly on the outside but sweet on the inside and just by walking around here on the upper third of the property I can I can try to identify some I mean you got bananas everywhere I think these are calamansi calamansi is a little tiny uh, fruit that looks like tastes like a lime it's used a lot and I think these are just regular palm I don't they're not cocoa palm I don't think and then over here is we have a lot of these called rambutan these are uh, fruit bearing trees and they have a fruit about the size of my palm or my fist and it's also really really sweet and all of our all of our coconut trees are just heavily loaded with coconut and that the typhoon we had last week brought a lot down and it might be comical but it's true you really got to watch out for falling coconuts because they will kill you there are reports of people that have been hit and uh, and died from it so careful when you walk under them where I'm standing now is in on the rear patio of the house and all these all these trees here are staying and we've got a really nice breeze blowing right now and some nice shade too so this is going to be a really nice little backyard here's a close-up of the bananas that that we were forced to to take early so they're they're small and green but they they might ripen up we did get pretty hit pretty hard by the the, uh, the cyclone the typhoon 
and there was a lot of trash to pick up but we lost one of our mahogany trees right here just snapped it right off and took and took a smaller one with it but we were able to cut up the pieces right here for future use this is all mahogany wood I'm gonna walk down to the generator and the uh, the water point my deep well they say to run it for at least half a half hour every day until you get it into full use to keep the sediment from building up there but I ran out of fuel so I'm gonna carry down some diesel and start it up So I've got some plans for this deep well here. But what I was thinking of doing is creating a um, an enclosure, kind of a it'll be a hollow block uh, enclosure with with the river rocks on the outside, and it'll be like a circle, like a, a medieval castle with with vents at the top open air vents at the top basically just like a uh, just like a cylinder like a castle and uh, with a conical top on it I don't know if the roof will be steel or maybe even uh, natural um, not rattan but the same material that that you put on the top of a Baha'i Kubo I thought that would look really cool kind of a um, like an old-fashioned spring house or old-fashioned Italian ice house and so that's going to involve our our, uh, our main outlet is right right here so what I think we're going to do is just maybe do an eight-foot diameter circle with that on you know not in the middle but on one of the sides of the circle and then go up from there create a foundation of of hollow block and uh, and then just kind of use riprap cement to use these river rocks that we have pre-positioned here to uh, to go around the outside of it to give it that old-fashioned look and uh, we'll have power we'll have obviously power for the pump so we can have light inside and uh, we'll put like an old-fashioned wood door you know, shape shaped like a upside down U and um, it'll still be in the shade so I think with, with it being in the shade and being stone with the cold water it'll be pretty nice you know live up to the name spring house and then inside of of the house I'm thinking about uh, form fitting got some concrete sinks maybe a three sink three basin sink out of concrete with a waterfall effect from one to the other to the other and then this could you know also be used as a mudroom prior to going back upstairs to the house and, and it's it's in a good position where if, also if you're at the river today's Sunday so you can hear some families frolicking down there in the river but uh, you could even rig up a little shower in here and I think that'd be pretty cool I talked to one of my guys and we might be able to start start on this as early as next week. <laughs> 